day to you all. I'm Kyla Caslin, mental health clinician here at Bibb County School District. Bibb Schools and Project Aware, advancing wellness and resilience in education, wanted to share a few tips for our parents to take in, in the hopes that during these stressful times that we are all living through, that you'll be able to find some sort of relief. First, being a parent is not easy work. You're always being watched. And believe it or not, you're being mirrored. Your children's behavior and wellness can be influenced by how you respond to difficult times. So let's talk about some things that you can do to protect your mental health. Number one, recognize when you're doing too much. This simply means that you should be able to feel when you are pushing beyond what you normally can mentally or physically handle. At that point, you may be experiencing headaches, feeling fatigued, begin to physically experience pain in your chest or back, or even get sick without warning. Your body will shut itself down before it allows you to go under. Stop yourself and sit down. Take a time out and allow yourself the time away, a mental health day or whatever is allowable and appropriate due to your own circumstances and responsibilities. I guarantee that your mind and body will be grateful for you thinking of yourself first for a change. Number two, identify your own ritual for relaxation. This may look like you waking up an additional hour early to be able to meditate, do some early morning yoga, give yourself some affirmations and allow the stillness of the morning to calm and center you. Rituals or routines will help you to regain some sense of control as well as allow you to have something to look forward to as your first accomplishment for the day. Number three, grasp the concept that self-care is not selfish, it's self-nourishing. Self-care is one of the biggest pieces to the puzzle in mental health. If you're not taking care of you first, there is no way possible that you are going to be able to fully take care of any other individual or task. Imagine filling up a glass with water, then pour half of the water out on the ground. Next, drink a quarter of the glass's remaining water, then pour what is left into another glass. The other glass is not full, and now your glass is completely empty. Taking care of yourself is a necessity. Take time out of each day to calm down, reflect, decompress, and dump the day. Whatever that looks like, if it is healthy for you and those around you, it'll be perfectly fine. Just keep your glass full. Now, I hope these tips have been helpful to you and you're able to put them to real use. Make mental wellness a priority. Be your own advocate for mental wellness. You and your children deserve the best. For more information about Bibb County School District's school-based mental health services, visit Project Aware on the school district's website. You are your own advocate, and we believe that you have the power to change the narrative on your own mental health. For more information about Bibb County School District's school-based mental health services, contact Tajlin Woodruff, Project Aware Coordinator, at 478-765-8551 or tajlin.woodruff at bcsdk12.net. Parents, you are encouraged to discuss mental health concerns with your doctor or counselor. For needs of immediate support or intervention outside of normal school or work hours, students, staff, and families are encouraged to seek immediate attention at a healthcare facility or by calling the Georgia Crisis Access Line at 1-800 715-4225. We can all do our part to make a difference in promoting mental health awareness. Signing off, this is Kyla Caslin, your Project Aware mental health provider.